Today I want to take you back and show you how I made this super easy chicken crock pot recipe. Come with me and let's get started. So I've got about two pounds of chicken in the bottom of the crock pot. For today's recipe, I used boneless, skinless chicken thighs because that's what I had. But I've also used chicken breasts for this recipe, so whatever your preference is, both work great. I'm going to salt and pepper. I'm going a little light on the salt because a lot of my other ingredients have salt, so be careful with that. You can always add more salt later if you need it. I'm going to add a little bit of chili powder cumin, garlic powder, whoops, not that much, onion powder. I'm just going to toss this around a little bit. Some of my chicken is still frozen. That's okay. It'll all work out fine. That's the beauty of the crock pot. Just going to get all the pieces coated as best as I can. As always, my full written recipe will be down below in the description box. Next, I'm going to add in a packet of ranch seasoning. Onions. I have a red onion and a very small white onion. I had a red onion that needed to get used up. I have a half of a red pepper that I chopped up. I also have some frozen items from my garden that I preserved. And I'm going to put those to use today. This is a green pepper. Whoa! <laughs> that just went everywhere. I always say don't make a mess like I do, once again. Jalapeno, and there's also some red cherry bomb pepper in there, also that I grew this summer. This is my homegrown garlic. I have a video on this. You could also do it with just a bunch of garlic that you buy in bulk. I can link my video down below on how to preserve and freeze it. Going to dump a couple of those in. Some homegrown cilantro. Just going to tear it up and get it in there. There's a bunch of stems. That's okay. They'll break down. This is going to be cooking all day. Look at all that beautiful green. I love that. Next, I'm adding in a can of Rotel. I'm using the original. You could use mild or hot, whatever you prefer. I'm adding a can of black beans. I just drained off part of the liquid on top. I did not rinse them at all. I also have this can of Choupé corn that I am going to drain, and we are going to add that in later on. Next, I'm adding in two cups of chicken broth. Next, I'm adding eight ounces of shredded cheese. I use cheddar and Colby Jack. And last, I'm adding in a block of cream cheese. And that is it for now until we add the corn later. Well, let's get this going. I'm going to cook this on low for about six hours or so, and we will be back. Also, just a side note, I have some garlic scapes from the garden, and I just thought I would throw those in too. Why not? They're absolutely delicious. Okay, now we'll be back. It is many hours later. We are almost done. I'm just going to add the corn in. I'm just breaking up the chicken. 
which probably isn't even really necessary because it's already falling apart, but just by stirring it, you can kind of break up the chicken, as you can see. And you can see it still looks pretty liquidy, but once you take the lid off and let this sit for a little bit, something magical happens. I don't know how, but it thickens up really nicely. You can serve this over rice. You can just serve it in a bowl by itself. It's really versatile. Friends, you guys are going to love this recipe. It turned out so delicious. I kept it simple and I just served ours in bowls and I put extra shredded cheese on top along with a dollop of sour cream and some fresh cilantro and a little hit of lime juice which gave it a just nice burst of fresh flavor. This is so good. Highly recommend it. I just want to say thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.